In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour, premium two mini battery. And I wanna thank the good folks over at Power Queen for sending this battery out to me to do the review on this. They have not made any requirements or requested anything uh, to do this review other than do an honest review. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I appreciate companies that can stand behind their product enough to not try to persuade someone to do a positive review. And I wanna just give a special shout out to Power Queen for doing that. Let's get this unpacked, see what's in the box. We'll do a real quick unboxing and then we'll get to the review. Let's get it out. Move this out of the way. And they call this the mini because it's considerably smaller and lighter than the previous versions of these 100 amp hour batteries. And what I'm gonna do right now is get a measurement across the top where 10 and 1 8 of an inch and the height is 8 and 7 8 and the width is 5 and a quarter and the true weight of the battery is 19.8 pounds now let's open this pack up and see what they've included we have the product manual operator's guide for beginners and some cool stickers so on the operator's guide you have the notice before use the operating precautions on the front side and then on the back side, you have the connecting precautions and the do's and don'ts. And then let's take a look at the product manual. First, you'll start with the product overview and some cool illustrations throughout this manual that usually you don't see come with these type of batteries. They did a really good job of creating this manual so it's easy to understand. And I'm actually gonna be talking a little bit more about this here in a minute. But that just gives you a good idea of the time that they spent on the product manual. I know that might seem a little petty, but if a company is spending time on their product manual, providing you with a quick start, and even giving you a couple little stickers, that's the little things that matter in these companies. And not only that, they provide reliable customer service and they respond to the emails if you have a question. And on top of that, they offer a five-year service warranty and a 10-year lifespan on this battery and most of the products that they offer. And Power Queen states that they have four U.S. distribution centers. Now, I found two that was in Los Angeles, California and Dallas, Texas. I'm going to be adding to the battery reviews are the energy density numbers. This one comes in at 64.74 watt hours per pound and i promise you i'm going to get to test this battery in just a minute but there are a couple of items that i want to still touch base on that i think you'll find interesting one of them will be you can install this battery on its side on its top on this side however you would like and that's fine just don't put any pressure on the terminals and of course don't short it out but that opens up a lot of design elements of creating your battery bank. And I thought that was important to point out. A lot of people are curious about how many of these you can connect together. The answer to that is 16. You can build a battery bank up to 20,480 watt hours. And how you would do that is you would series four of these together and then connect those in parallel. And that equates to a 48 volt 400 amp hour battery backup solution. And there are two more things I want to talk about before I start the capacity test, the load test, and the efficiency test. And the first one will be the depth of discharge life cycles. The company claims that you can discharge this at 80% and then charge it back to 100% and you can do that 4,000 times. Let me explain what that means. That means you're using 80% of the battery and then charging it back to 100%. You can do that 4,000 times. I think that's where they're getting the 10 year uh, service life out of this. But if you deplete this to 60% and then charge it back to 100%, then you're looking at 6,000 cycles. If you deplete this to 80% and charge it back to 100%, you're looking at 15,000 cycles. That's 41 years of life out of a battery. And the last thing that I wanna to touch on before we start the actual physical testing of this battery is the BMS. Most of these batteries are protected by a BMS, a battery management system. And what that does is protect you from overcurrent, short circuit, over discharge, overcharging, and different thermal properties. Meaning there might be a code sensor in there, there might be an overheating sensor in here 
Those are things I'll have to find out and we'll do that in testing, but it's important to always purchase a battery with a good built-in BMS. Important, do not throw away your box before you get the terminal lugs out. Something I forgot to note that you received was the actual terminals. Something that would be probably easy to toss. But luckily, I knew they were there, I just forgot to add them into what you receive with the battery. And the first thing that I wanna do is to connect the inverter and the shunt to the battery. Then we'll connect the charger and charge it up to 100%. Now that we have everything hooked up, I'm gonna charge it with this 20 amp hour battery charger that's good for charging these type of batteries. So we got it on the correct setting here. We'll get all this charged up and then we'll do a capacity test. Now that it's 100% charged, Let's do our capacity test. I've got all of this reset, and this is the number that we're gonna be paying attention to. We want this to go past 100 amp hours. And I know this is not textbook of how you're supposed to drain a battery, but this is why I'm doing it this way, because I wanna put a full load on it, plus I wanna see if the BMS will protect the battery. I'm gonna overload it, so we're gonna see if that overload protection actually does work. I don't think we're going to blow anything out of the 3,500 watt inverter, so something should shut down in this battery, and we wanna check, make sure that that happens. While we're doing that test, we're doing the capacity test, and we're gonna be checking that at the end to see if we get that 100 amp hours. It's good to see that the BMS is actually working in the battery. So let's continue the capacity test and find out what the total capacity of this battery is. I completely depleted a battery. It did pass the capacity test. We used 100.22 amp hours. And the final test that I'll be running is gonna be an efficiency test. And how I'm gonna calculate that is to use this number times that number, which gives you 1,282, and we'll see how much input power that we need to charge it to use that amount of power. And that number will be a little bit higher because we'll never have 100% efficiency on charging a battery, but we need to find out what the efficiency is uh, on these cells. And one last time, we'll hook the charger up, get the battery back to 100%, that will take roughly five to six hours. And now that we're at full charge, we can see that it took 1.38 kilowatts. And to get the efficiency number, we need to take that 1282 and divide it by the 1383. We get an efficiency of 92.7%. So that concludes my video on the Power Queen 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium LiPo 4 mini premium two battery. And hopefully you found something helpful about the video or you just enjoyed the video in general. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up button because it really does help me out a lot. I appreciate you guys sticking around until the end of the video and I hope to catch you in my next project.